Story recap here. Today I'm going to explain a crime, drama, and horror film called What the Peeper Saw. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. One night, Sarah gets ready for a bath. As she steps into the tub, she reaches to turn off the faucet with her foot, but she slips and starts convulsing the water. Two years later, Elise arrives home and goes to the kitchen when a thud catches her off guard. Upon inspection, she encounters her stepson, Marcus, at the front door, surprising her because she wasn't expecting him until next week. However, Marcus says he has a house key from his father, Paul, and he took a thousand pesetas to hire a car from the airport. Because of Marcus's early arrival from boarding school, Elise asks why. Thus, Marcus says there was a chickenpox outbreak at his school. In his room, Elise drops by to ask about Marcus's preferences for dinner, but he doesn't have any. Looking around, she notices Marcus's bookshelf and asks if he reads them. With curiosity, Elise picks up a book about phonology and asks what it is about. So Marcus explains with great eloquence. In the evening, Marcus is busy bathing when Elise knocks, telling him that Paul is on the phone, so he lets her in. Amidst this conversation with Paul, Marcus looks at Elise while he tells Paul that she's beautiful, making Elise smile at the compliment. Getting the phone back, Elise talks to Paul while Marcus approaches her from behind, caressing her arm. Though trying to focus on the conversation, she immediately hangs up when Marcus cups her clothed bosom. Then, she leaves the bathroom with a glare. The next morning, Marcus picks up their mail. Elise asks about the letter addressed to Marcus, thus he explains it's just a book club circular. She offers to write to the club so they can take Marcus off the circular, but he declines. While enjoying their pool, Elise asks if he has friends to invite, but Marcus says he doesn't. Afterward, Elise asks for the letter from the book club, but Marcus says he has already torn it. When she asks further, Marcus points out how she's being inquisitive, so Elise says it's one of her vices. The following day, Marcus and Elise are at the airport to welcome Paul's arrival. Straight away, Paul greets Marcus with a kiss on the lips before turning to Elise to do the same. While Elise drives them home, Paul's hand wanders down her body, so she doesn't notice they're about to hit a truck. In the nick of time, Elise swerves to avoid the vehicle as Paul protects Marcus. After safely passing, Marcus just smiles. At home, Elise and Paul spend some time in the bathroom, then continue their intimacy in their room. Afterward, Elise sees Marcus playing outside alone, so she asks Paul if Marcus is happy at school and has friends. Paul tells Elise that Marcus is a smart kid, but reminds her that he is just 12, so he needs some love, especially because of Sarah's death. Later, they go to a Chinese restaurant for dinner, an end-of-term tradition for Marcus. There, Marcus expresses his desire to learn Chinese, and when Elise asks the reason, he says he wants to read Confucius' book in the original, one where Confucius wrote about how to be a superior man. Piling onto Marcus's opinion, Paul points out that it had things in perspective such as the seven basic reasons for divorce, disobedience, barrenness, lewdness, jealousy, garrulousness, leprosy, and stealing. Afterward, Paul asks whether Elise borrowed money from his desk, so she says Marcus was the one who did for the airport. Marcus says he borrowed 300, however, Elise argues that he said a thousand before. Paul stops their argument, saying he thought their housekeeper took it, but Elise vouches for their housekeeper's honesty. Later, Elise snoops through Marcus's belongings. When she finds a torn letter in his notebook, she pieces it together. While they spend time in the pool, Marcus tells Paul that Elise doesn't like him because she thinks he stole money. Paul tells him that Elise was mistaken, so Marcus says Elise searched his room. Hearing their conversation, Elise pretends to be asleep by the poolside. Inside the house, Paul asks Elise about searching Marcus's room, but she doesn't give a straight answer. Meanwhile, at the pool, Marcus sees a visage of Sarah's body within the waters, disappearing when Paul calls out to him. Soon, Elise flies to Marcus's school and speaks with the headmaster, Dr. Kessel, saying it must be difficult to deal with the chicken box outbreak. However, Kessel says there wasn't any outbreak. Afterward, Elise asks about Marcus's leave from school. Although Kessel states that he'd rather speak with Paul, Elise manages to convince him, saying she's saving Paul from the worry. Kessel asks if they read the letter sent by the school. Elise says no, saying she found the letter torn up. Thus, Kessel shows her the letter. There, it details Marcus's reason for expulsion. Elise asks Kessel for further details, so he shows her a notebook of Marcus's inappropriate drawings, saying it started there. Meanwhile, Marcus stands by a tree at the playground, staring at a girl on the swings. At the school, Kessel details the complaints they've gotten about a peeping Tom presumed to be Marcus. Kessel tells her how their groundskeeper had to save Marcus from a beating after he was caught spying on a couple. Furthermore, Kessel says he's had conversations with Paul about Marcus's behavior, which they attributed to Sarah's death. On the other hand, Marcus watches a couple kiss from a distance. Then, Kessel tells Elise about how Marcus tortured a cat, hence why they had to kick him out. Continuing along Marcus's day, he watches a butcher cut open a piglet. 
One night, Paul and Elise attend a party where Paul immediately leaves Elise alone as he greets his colleagues. When an old man goes near Elise and compliments her, she walks away and comes across a room where men display fruit on a woman's bare body, even forcing it on the woman. Walking further, Elise encounters Sophie, the hostess in the bathroom. Because Sophie's inebriated, Elise helps her light a cigarette. Then, Sophie mentions how the bathroom gives her the creeps because it's where Sarah died. Though Elise pries further, Sophie tells her to ask Paul. On the way home, Elise asks why Paul didn't tell her that it's Sarah's old house. Therefore, Paul explains that he sold it after Sarah's death and was proving to himself that it was over. Still, Elise is mad and asks what happened to Sarah, so Paul explains that Sarah died from a heart attack while bathing. At home, they start arguing about Marcus and the money. Despite Elise's insistence on Marcus's thievery, Paul tells her that he found the money at the back of a drawer, but Elise says Marcus might have put it back. Due to Paul doubting her, Elise brings up how there's no chicken pox and Marcus tore the school's letter. Furthermore, she broaches the drawings and the complaints. However, Paul doesn't believe the school's allegations either. But Elise brings up the cat incident and how Marcus was expelled. Thus, Paul says he'll talk to Marcus yet reprimands Elise for harassing his son. However, Elise rebuts that she wants to help Marcus, but they need to face facts. While in bed, Elise still can't let go of the topic, so Paul explains everything. First, Marcus discovered Sarah's body in the bath before the incident started. Then, Paul destroyed all of Sarah's belongings, telling Elise that Marcus needs time and love. With a kiss, Elise apologizes to Paul. The following day, Elise snoops around the attic. There, she finds a trunk full of Sarah's clothes. Afterward, she goes to Marcus, hoping to hang out with him, but the boy brushes her off until she mentions the attic. When Marcus asks what was there, Elise mentions the trunk, but Marcus says it's not Sarah's because Paul threw all of it away. Pushing further, Elise urges Marcus to talk about Sarah, saying she wants to help him. Thus, Marcus answers questions about his mother, saying Sarah wasn't beautiful but could be attractive to some people. Furthermore, Marcus mentions that Sarah never understood whenever he and Paul were joking. Afterward, Marcus asks about Elise's reaction to Sarah's accident. However, she only knows about the heart attack. When she asks further, Marcus doesn't spill because Paul didn't. Later, Elise visits Sarah's grave with Sophie. Again, Elise mentions that Paul only said it was a heart attack. Back at Sophie's home, she tells Elise the story. During Marcus's birthday, Sarah went for a bath before their family dinner. Apparently, there was an electric heater beside the bath, but the insulation perished and the current jumped the pipes through the taps. It electrocuted Sarah and because of her weak heart, she ended up dying. However, Sophie mentions that nobody knew of her heart condition back then. At home, Paul becomes frustrated because of Elise and Marcus. He feels like a punching bag between Elise's suspicions and Marcus's innuendos. Muttering that he thought he'd finally gotten away from it all, Paul says that Elise starts to sound and look like Sarah. Time flies by and Elise continues to argue with Paul over dinner, much to Marcus's delight. One night, Elise observes Marcus in his sleep while he's shirtless. Meanwhile, Marcus does the same, smiling as he looks at Elise sleeping bare underneath her blanket. One day, Elise is inebriated and asks Marcus whether he loved Sarah, so Marcus says no. When she asks whether Paul loved Sarah, Marcus tells her to ask Paul herself. Getting angry, Elise says she's asking Marcus, so he says Paul's grief was transitory. Due to his answer, Elise tells Marcus that he's hiding behind big words and that he's a freak. Thus, Marcus says that Sarah looked like a dead fish under the water with her mouth wide open. Asking further, Elise asks about Marcus's reaction to Sarah's death, so he says he laughed. Afterward, Elise angrily walks away and approaches Paul while mowing the lawn, reminding him that he's due at the airport in an hour and tries to take the lawnmower. Due to her intoxication, Paul pushes Elise away, telling her to lie down. However, she takes his hand and runs it down her body, so Paul pulls his hand away, making Elise fall. When she tries to reach out for help, Paul walks away. Inside, Elise offers to drive Paul to the airport as he packs, but he declines because she's drunk. Despite Elise's insistence, Paul takes a taxi. While alone in the room, Elise notices something in the ceiling and goes to the attic. There, she pushes off the trunk and pries the floorboards, only to see a hole in direct view of their bed. Immediately, she confronts Marcus about the hole, so he admits to spying on them. When Elise asks why he does that, Marcus says it turns him on. Probing further, Elise asks whether he spied on Sarah, but Marcus says she wasn't as entertaining because there wasn't any acrobatics. Finally, Elise asks whether Marcus had something to do with Sarah's death. Despite Marcus saying that Sarah died from a heart attack, Elise asks about the electric heater. Wanting to know answers, Elise asks what Marcus wants in exchange for the truth, so he says he wants Elise. Hence, Elise starts unclothing herself in front of Marcus while asking questions. Asking whether Sarah's death was a murder, Marcus keeps saying no until Elise peels down to her underwear, and finally, Marcus says yes. 
Thus, Elise assumes it was Paul, so she asks whether Paul knew about Sarah's heart condition. However, Marcus insistently denies it. But when Elise is fully bare, Marcus confesses that he was the one who knew about Sarah's heart condition after seeing a letter from her specialist. Then, Elise asks whether Marcus told Paul. However, Marcus says that he was the one who killed his mother. Not believing it, Elise covers herself, saying that Marcus is just a dirty little schoolboy. Still, Marcus insists he did it. When Paul gets home, Elise takes him to the attic to show him the peephole, but it's not there anymore. Because of Elise's insistence that Marcus must have covered it, Paul gets angry, saying she's been accusing Marcus of stealing, searching his room, and then the peephole. Still, Elise says she wouldn't have called Paul for anything. Thus, Paul says he'll talk to Marcus. Afterward, Elise immediately asks how it goes, but Marcus denies the whole. Not knowing what to do anymore, Paul says that Marcus should see a psychiatrist. Happily, Elise hugs Marcus, saying it's the only way they could start over again. Soon, Paul goes to see Dr. Vjorn, a psychiatrist. Marcus says psychiatrists bore him, so Elise asks if he already told the psychiatrist about his mother. Marcus explains that Sarah was drinking coffee when she died, and Paul knew the moment he saw it. Doubting it, Elise says Sarah died from a heart attack, so Marcus insists that he organized the heart attack and he wants Paul to give him credit. At night, Elise is woken up by typing sounds, so she goes down to check it, seeing Paul hard at work. Getting his attention, Elise says she feels like Marcus will kill her. The next day, Marcus takes Paul to their pool, showing their dogs floating, dead. Marcus says he tried to reach for the dog. When Paul leaves, Marcus starts throwing rocks at the dog. Meanwhile, Elise talks to Vjorn about Marcus, recounting their first meeting. On the other hand, Marcus is burying their dead dog. With Vjorn, Elise immediately brings up the stealing incident, saying she remembers clearly despite Marcus denying it. When Vjorn asks what Elise thinks to be Marcus's purpose, Elise says it might be to test who Paul would believe. Vjorn asks whether Marcus admitted to the theft, but Elise says no. Still, she's sure that Marcus stole the money. However, Vjorn points out that the money was found at the back of the drawer. When Elise says that Marcus must have returned it, Vjorn asks whether anyone saw it, but Elise says no. Probing further, Vjorn asks what Elise did about it, so she confesses to snooping around Marcus's room so she can prove the truth. Then, Vjorn asks about Paul and Marcus's relationship. Elise points out that they seem overly affectionate as Paul always touches Marcus. Afterward, Vjorn veers to the topic of the letter Elise found. When she found out that Paul knew about Kessel's report on Marcus's behavior, she felt betrayed. Then, Vjorn asks her about Marcus's lewd drawings, but Elise says she was amazed when she first saw them, saying it was almost beautiful. Then, when Vjorn asks about the cat, Elise immediately says that she felt sick, pointing out that sane people don't go around killing animals, and admits that Marcus frightens her. Elise says Marcus creates difficulties between her and Paul because of his lies. However, she doesn't dislike Marcus and wants to help him. Just then, Vjorn mentions that Marcus talks about his memories of Sarah, mostly childish things. Shocked, Elise points out that Vjorn can't tell when Marcus is lying. Moving on, Vjorn asks about the peephole and calls Marcus a child, making Elise angry, saying that Marcus is as adult as them. Suddenly, Vjorn asks about what Elise did when she saw the peephole, so Elise says she called Paul. However, Vjorn asks about what she did in the meantime, so Elise says nothing. Standing up, Vjorn confronts her about how Elise stripped in front of Marcus. When asked further, Elise explains that she did it to get information because she suspected Paul. But Vjorn rebuts, asking whether Elise wanted Marcus to see her body. Insistent on her narrative, she tells Vjorn to ask Marcus the truth. Vjorn asks whether Elise harmed the dog, asking if she can't remember. Hence, Elise just says that Marcus murdered a cat. A nurse goes inside the room, so Elise gets more defensive, saying Marcus killed his mother and how he laughed. Getting admitted to the ward, Elise starts hallucinating about killing Marcus and attempts to suffocate him in his sleep, but Paul stops her. She's restrained at the hospital and the doctors sedate her. Then, in the pool, Elise drowns Marcus while Paul merely lounges. Elise gets admitted to the ward with a nurse pushing her wheelchair. While there, her memories start to mash together, recalling an incident of her sleeping with Marcus while Paul watches with a smile. After her time in the ward, Paul picks up Elise. Walking around the park, Paul tells Elise that he sold the house so they could start again. Then, Marcus greets her with his new dog. When Marcus leaves, Elise mentions to Paul that Marcus seems happier. Later, Elise spends time with Marcus, saying he was lonely without her. Marcus asks if Elise tried telling the truth, but nobody believed her. Then, Marcus points out that he and Elise are closer in age than she and Paul. Afterward, Elise asks if he would have killed her, and without hesitation, he says he was planning to do so with her car. With both of them agreeing that Paul bores them, Marcus comes up with an idea asking whether Paul is insured. Finally, the two kiss. Moments later, Elise spots a car incoming and takes the dog's toy from Marcus to throw it to the road. Calling out to his dog, Marcus chases after it and ends up getting hit by the vehicle. 
Remorseless, Elise just walks away as people crowd Marcus's body. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.